Hello, Western New York. <laughs> and it's a nice day, you know. I mean, it's kind of been raining on and off, you know. And that was just a tin can. And hey, Paris. <laughs> And uh, let's see here. Well, I don't see any flowers popping up right in here, you know. But uh, I suppose you know it's like you you basically it's like you uh yeah you know basically it's like one day nothing next day whoa you know. <sighs> and <laughs> uh, here's a question any of you guys see the recent episode of The Walking Dead well I ain't gonna spoil it or anything like that but there was the scene where Maggie Green you know the young pregnant woman was um, doing some gardening, you know, with the the people in the in the place where she's been staying at. <laughs> yeah, you know. And <laughs> so it's nice to see that sort of thing. And look at the crocuses as they're blooming. Just they're just beautiful. I mean, when you've been seeing nothing but snow for three months, you know, December. Well, since December until now, it's nice to see a little bit of color. You know? And of course, you know, I've been. You know, looking around the local stores, you know, seeing what places have. Uh, I see there's a few more crocuses still get popping up. <laughs> and when the last old Paris doesn't get too close to them. <laughs> um, be mildly annoying. Now, what did it be, Paris? <laughs> um. Well, like I said, it was a, a scene where Maggie was teaching the locals how you do some gardening. Um, you know the whole throw, you know that you know uh, throwing a tarp down on top of dirt and then to you know smother the weeds so that way they wouldn't interfere with the plants that. You, that the people at the Hell Chop wanted, you know, like, you know, necessities, you know, uh, watermelons, squash, tomatoes, and all that sort of stuff, you know. And then, um, just a, a weed. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Allie. And then, in the, and then she walked out to uh, get a young blueberry plant. And, well, that might have to get clipped. <laughs> you know, and she mentioned that a good blueberry plant will produce fruit for 40 years, and you best be ready for the fact that you might be that long. <laughs> And I wonder if I should clip this little part off. Maybe I should. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Man, nothing wrong with checking to make sure on the plants, you know. <laughs> See what's wrong. If anything is wrong. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, and that gets me to thinking about what would you do to prepare yourself for the apocalypse and gardening wise and, and let's see here don't think I'll get too much fruit on this one I guess maybe I'll get some and you never know um what would one have to do well on one hand you'd you know, zombie apocalypse or any other kind of apocalypse, I mean, <coughs> one thing that would be advisable, know how to save seeds. Don't ask me how to do that. Don't know how to do it. And it would be useful to know how to save the seeds of your basic greens, you know. You know, spinach, kale, that sort of stuff. The stuff you, everybody's going to eat. Now the thing is, know how to store fruit food for long-term purposes. <laughs> yeah. I'd have a couple of things go starting to go on there. <laughs> um, the other thing you want is uh, plants that are going to last you. I mean. I mean, like, like I mentioned, like I mentioned previously, um, a blueberry plant will last you at least a good 40 years, and most of these other plants will last you at least 10, 15. You know, real trick is uh, figuring out how to properly store them. You know, store the fruit, so that way you can. Oh, uh, what do you know? <laughs> Look at that! I mean, that's all new growth. You know. I mean, huh. I kind of hope it's after the last frost. I mean, I got some my eyes set on on a couple of plants <laughs> I'd like to buy and set up for this week do this weekend, you know. Um <laughs> I see my gooseberries and red currants coming up. Don't know about the blueberries. You know, I suppose I'll wait on them, you know, a little bit longer. I don't see anything out of my grapes yet. But then again this is a north facing section so that might have something to do with it or on the other hand maybe I'm just not an expert at reading great too good you know I mean what would happen if I was to take a look at a wild grape I mean I don't know you know I mean what would happen if I was to look at some Egg, some wild black raspberries and all that sort of stuff. I mean, you know, all that sort of stuff. Well, here's uh, my mom's roses. She got a short one there, a tall one there. A little real trick will be figuring out how to put a grapevine right there at, by the uh, ramp. <laughs> you know, but, eh. I suppose one does what they have to do. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, a little sparrow walking around. Um, the bird feeders are full, so...
So I wouldn't be too surprised if I saw a barrier, a bird or two around. Um. I mean, I've seen some signs on my raspberries, you know. I mean, you know, down near the bottom. But that just might be because the roots are a little bit better protected. Which is actually kind of a good thing, you know. <laughs> Sparrows. Um. Let's see here. <laughs> the little things you, fi you find, you know, you discover. I mean, sometimes what you gotta do is just come out, pull up a chair, sit down, and listen. Excuse me. And this has a few more branches have fallen. <sighs> Gonna be busy, you know. Cleaning all these branches up. But um this happens every single year, you know. I mean you get snow, you get wind, and you get branches of fall. Which of course means <laughs> more fuel for the fire. Um, uh, now let's see here. Uh, Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't expect a a huge crop, you know, on my black raspberries. I mean, this is the first, the first year in the ground, so I can't expect too much. I can't really expect anything. Truth be honest. I mean, probably safer to expect nothing, really. And then I got all this stuff popping up on me. I got a half a mind to get a black tarp and just place it right on over. Probably be a smart thing to do, you know. You know? <laughs> that way I wouldn't have to worry about dealing with all of this stuff. But I hope to turn, like I, like I mentioned, I hope to turn this into a strawberry bed. You know? I'd have to do a little bit of measuring. I mean, this is... <sighs> About four feet wide. 
by about 12. Yeah. Give or take a little bit here and a little bit there. Well, you seen my raspberries? You seen my blackberries? Actually, let's take a look down this way for the blackberries. Um, well, you seen my blueberries? And, uh, you seen my gooseberries? My red currants? You know, some of this stuff is just... It's all about moving slow, really. And being patient. <laughs> and, of course, being happy with the surprises that you eventually get. You know? <laughs> There's some surprises I don't mind having. <sighs> well, this is Western New York. Subscribe if you like this. Comment and all that other put, like it hit the little bell and that other all that other good stuff. Okay? Goodbye.